So you all dry now? Again, no sleeping with a cover. Oh, her hair looks more like a rainbow, pink color on her roots. Wakey, wakey. God, I would be frozen if I had slept like that. Sure. Always remember this moment. Yes, of the time I broke into my own school, went for Go a swim. Go to mom! Hello, <laughs> hog. So! It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. It's very true. Even though Wise I'm words. the school in town you want to torch. Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. Oh, so you kind of live here at the I moment, so... I find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? Oh, no, do I? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. Yeah. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. Mm -hmm. I keep waving at mm -hmm. the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. I'm so wiped out from last night, but it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. I'm not that bad. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Oh god. Sidewalk and the pigeons and my window reflection. So we just chillin'. Mascot polish in the evening by the morning looks like shit. I know you have a head. Am I meant to do something? I can oh. feel it when we kiss. So many men. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Chloe, you need to put your rubbish away. Oh, Warren. Glad to see you did blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. There. Where is one's clothes? Yeah, I'll be there, Chloe. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. <laughs> oh god, this will be interesting. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. Cool. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. I have a you style. Can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. Um, I double dare you. Kiss me now. 
えおえいうんあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ I love that Chloe is so fearless. I'm gonna stick with my choice. Cause I like Warren. I wanna see if that goes anywhere. Also, it's her hair. Now the roots changed color because of the chlorine. Well, that kind of suits you. Yeah, I like it. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. <laughs> Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to、uh, wake and bake first. Yep. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Cool. Wallet? No. Let's go see Joyce. Lovely lady. Hopefully, we don't、oh、run into her husband. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Unknown? Miss Clawfield, I wanted to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You showed true grace and bravery when you went up to that room with her. Oh, oh, it's her dad. You must know you did all that possible and that Kate's life was never in your hands, or even hers at that some point.、Uh, at that point. Kate has left us for another world, but she'll always be with us, and I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in our prayers. Peace and joy, Richard Marks. Aww. Sweet. And also sad. Go downstairs. Hello, lovely lady. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel! Ah,、uh, I, I mean, Max. Who、oh, you startled me? Well, you fit those clothes well. That's a bit awkward. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Whatever you're.、Mm, pancakes, eggs, and bacon. Pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Okie dokie. Eggs and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Do you not keep eggs in the fridge? Now for the mother's milk. Where do you keep your eggs? Because it's not in the obvious place. Eggs? Do I go outside and get the eggs from the bird? I'm、uh, not here now, why? What about some dead birds? That's not a bad omen at all. Have you got any eggs? Oh my god, there's a lot. I wonder how these birds died. Oh, that's weird. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous.、Um, let's just move on. Where'd you keep your eggs? Oh, you haven't emptied out your shopping. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. You could have mentioned that. Thanks. 
After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. Yeah. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is Rachel okay? Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? <laughs> God, I hope so. She was, is smart. She always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? No. Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. Well, and that makes me now. what? A century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Thank you. You're so lovely. Sit. Good, Max. It's actually a really nice house they have. <laughs> What's the paper Kate's saying? life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Student leaps to public death up. Oh, God. Flash, no, and freak eclipse. Apocalypse soon? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> now that's shop. what I call pancakes. Eat some more. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Do I get up or am I waiting for someone? Can I not finish my pancake? I'm only in half. See, I guess nobody waters the plant here. Oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Clearly. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Can I see them? Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... Yeah, I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. Let's not talk about it. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This oh, was when sure? my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Almost like a different person. She's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Speak of the devil. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Not quite. It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. 
I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? It's a little bit bad. Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. He's probably got a password. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Search. Nothing to see here. Don't think there was much in the way of clues last time. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty... I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Worst hacker ever. Yeah. Oh, cute. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Yes. Score! Max the hacker strikes again. Not much for hacker, just found the password. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel's been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Jesus. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Try to talk to you about the party she got upset and ran. Guilty. Yeah, because you were a dick to her. This is so wrong. Oh, oh do you have my school bastard. schedule? I don't like this. I better tell Chloe about this now. Can I log out? Whoa, spoiler alert. Instead of this is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. You all good? You enjoying my other half of my pancake? Uh, bad man. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Gee, I wonder who that could be. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. No, you're not. Hello. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. What, are you gonna Not hire now. Again? Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I'm not siding with David, are you joking? You're a bully, David! I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. And you took her phone. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why yeah, do you good... have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. Thank you. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. I really don't like you. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You 
Yay! Can't kick me out of my own home. Yes, it's you can. My home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? <laughs> oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. It's not the army. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. <laughs> I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I'm just gonna leave. Hey, Chloe, what are we doing now? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. No, not going to. Uh, so I'm gonna go. It's been nice seeing you all. Great argument we had. Learned a lot. <laughs> Listen. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Great. Must be an easy break-in. What the hell are you eating? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and... Uh, eh. and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, at least you understood all that. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Oh, can I have a Scooby snack? I like snacks. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. to be food for you somewhere. <laughs> You're looking in the bin, really. Another dead bird. This is so creepy. Okay. What? Dad. I'm not ready to come home. Okay. Just dad saying you can come. Y'all good? Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Okay, that was a pointless conversation. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Oh, Warren. By a little bit. Okay, it's fish still up. But I'm actually asked both tickets. Had to buy a dozen bullies off from the freaking nerds. Let me still go for a date and with Warren. Ah, uh, Nathan. Can I order food? Could I borrow some keys? I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, never mind. I did nothing. How's it going? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because oh. she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. 
You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there oh, do with I know Kate you? when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Hmm. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but yeah. he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Hello, Nathan. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. Twee Lucky bitch? This is a public place. What is this, a Shakespeare play? Considering plate? we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. What can I do for you, Max? Rachel Nathan Frank. said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I, don't have much I heard choice. something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't... Bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Oh, of course. To his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? So he's a nice person to animals. I can respect that. Okay, let's try talking to you again. What the fuck now? Dave is after the gun. David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Oh, really? Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> uh. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Okay, never mind. It was never going to be that easy. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Oh, I got the keys. Oh yeah, of course. I keep forgetting how this thing works. Hey, Alyssa. You gonna get hit in the head again? Are you shitting me? Yep. Are 
Yüks Are you shitting me? Can I tell you to move? Alyssa, watch out! She just moves now without thinking about what are you it. Thinking, Max. <laughs> You're like cursed or something, you poor girl. Hey, where the fuck's Chloe gone? Oh, she's there. What the hell have you got? I should have chicken. Known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Oh, I'm going in. Thank you. On your mark, get set, throw! Uh, no, I'm not throwing it towards the road. Get the treat, treat, boy! Don't run I over the dog. I think that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Yeah, I don't want the dog to get run over, though. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're kind of looks similar for being drug honest. Dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. I think him and Rachel might have been a couple, because the way he was talking about her. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you dare me to drive it like you dared me to kiss you? Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. That's all good. It's an interesting poster in the back there. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Good to know where the knife is, just in case. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. I don't want to be in here. Blowtorch. Prescription pills. Graffiti. Okay. Ooh, Frank's stash. Ooh. Take it. Oh. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Hmm. Would the knife do? Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Yep, nice. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh, a diary? Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. It's being monstrous bitch and took out on you. And per Pompadou. A lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Rachel. They were a couple. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and thought you'd never chill out. Nursing it out the way you that way and next time will be last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you, uh, so maybe we need to break our routine. Chloe, you'll need to see that. Can I not open the other one? Maybe I don't need to.
That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel yeah. straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a step fucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Yeah, Nobody I don't think she did that on purpose. Me. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Take a nice breather. We kind of need those keys. Well, that explains why Frank had her bracelet. Chloe, could you be a bit more of a gentle driver? At least the dog's alive. I don't want to get killed. Oh, this is gonna end well. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. What have I Chloe done? Price, you better take that back. Right now. Okay, fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, Why? I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe. I don't think it your chose dad to didn't die. Chose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You're still here? You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. This is a very tense conversation. Could you please slow down? I don't want to die in a car crash. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm still at school. <laughs> Thanks for the lift. This is a bit awkward. Would you like a hug? No? Okay, I'm gonna leave. Bye! No. Oh my god. Oh. What is happening now? Oh, can you like relive moments through photos now? That's cool. Wish I could do that. It's better than time travel. Use L and R to focus upon. Oh.
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, Completely tell different him. person. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William can't, is here. Can't, Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? Yes, pancakes? you are. In France, they call them. Cranks. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Joyce loves William so much. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Oh, Max, please tell me you're not going to do something I think you're going to do. Is she going to stop I, William from away. driving? I'll let her know that. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Phone's ringing. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now Don't I'll have an excuse it. to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. No, you don't. This is a bad idea. Queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Um, key. How do you find anything? My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Max, this is a bad idea. Chloe is the way she is because her dad died. So I mean, it might alter her friendships and everything. Mom said it depends. That's true. So how many eggs? Score. Question the chef. This is a bad like idea. This is a really bad here? idea. I oh, this is gonna have really bad consequences. I'll let her know that. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. What have I drawn? I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? Damn it. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Apparently I need to hide it better. What? Crap! I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Of course I'll come pick you up. Uh, no, excuse me. hear it. Be there shortly. Love you. Right next to him as well. Excuse me, late. Oh, did it work this time? This is a bad idea. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little Either buddy. Either that or he's just Release gonna die another way. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you, and, and joys, and groceries, and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel you have okay? no idea. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Oh god. Did he die? Nope. 
He is still alive. But who's to say Chloe will still be my friend? That's kind of a nice photo. Does Chloe never dye her hair blue? And she got a nicer truck. Oh dear. Max, what have you done? I'm not paying $150 for a coffee. I heard that the vortex field parties are wild. Dude, the service fee is like 50%. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? Well, One of my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. going to be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. I'm wearing white trousers. He hooked up with Stella? Oh! Get off her. Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. David! Hi. Ooh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. That's a bad sign as well. What the hell? Is that a whale? Oh, there's whales. Oh no. There, Chloe. Max Caulfield taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! What's gonna happen? What? What is it? No, fuck, no. Oh, Max, what have you done? Oh, no. Oh, I fucked up. I really fucked up. Max, go back. Fix it. Let the man die. 
please let me let the man die in the next episode.